Hi everyone, welcome to Louie's Corner. So this video is about five beauty hacks. And I'm going to show you just little tips and tricks to do to help with your makeup and stuff like that. So here we go. Tip number one. So you know when your mascara gets all clumpy after a couple of months and it's irritating, but you don't want to go buy mascara yet because you're stubborn like I am? To make it last about another week, you use contact solution. Um, you can use contact solution or visine. So anyways, what you do is you open it and you put about three drops in there. One, two, three. Um, I'm not going to actually do it because I bought this like a week or two ago, so I don't really need to do it. I mush it around a little bit like this, close it, shake it around a little bit, and then it's good to use right away. And it really does make it last about another week or two, depending on how much mascara you use. So that's tip number one. Tip number two, sometimes when you're doing your mascara, you get crap on your face like that. What I do is once I've gotten something on my face, or I have some over here, what you can do to fix it is a Q-tip. These things are awesome. These are like essential for makeup perfection. The first thing that you need to do is to leave it alone. Don't touch it. Like seriously, don't touch it. It will make it so much worse and actually make it more difficult to get off. But what you need to do is leave it alone. And what I usually do is just, just finish my mascara, be completely done. Then I usually do my blush um, and maybe some lip gloss or lipstick or whatever you're going on with your lips there. And by that time, it's been a few minutes, and your mascara has dried. So what you can do now is get really close to your mirror. And just go like this. See, it just wipes away. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, right? And sometimes you get them like on your eyelid, even. I have one there on this eye right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. You have to be really careful though not to smudge your eyeshadow around too much. Just very, very lightly just touch it. Until it's gone. And that's tip number two. Tip number three. So you know when you're in public or wherever the heck you are and you go to the bathroom and you realize that there's lipstick on your teeth. To prevent your lipstick from getting on your teeth, you get your finger and like it. And it gets on your finger and all the lipstick left out there doesn't get any that's how it gets on your teeth, is the lipstick. And throw on your lips, that's it. Tip number four. So this is another Q-tip tip. So when you're doing your mascara, it can get right there on your eye. And you don't want that there. If you get your Q-tip, put it on your tongue, put your eyelid down like that. And just go across your waterline. Sometimes, even in your little duck, get this crap in there. Yeah. Yeah. And that's how you clear out your waterline. You did the awesome. My last tip is for zits. Oh, yeah. So, you know, sometimes you get really big, awful, horrible zit on your face, and it's like red and puffy and it's sore and it hurts so bad. You can also use Visine for this, like in your mascara thing. Visine is just a like, three-in-one type thing. Get a tip. And I don't have any Visine right now, and I'm sorry. I've actually used Contact Solution before, and it has also kind of worked. So, I don't know. But I have used Visine, and that works really well. What you do, you drench your Q-tip in the, in the Visine or whatever. You just rub it, coat it on, and you usually do this like the night before, like when you're going to bed at night, and just put that on, and it helps the swelling of your zit go down. Anyway, I've come to find that that actually really does help when I have the zit on my face, and it's embarrassing, and I don't want people to see it. Those are your five beauty tips. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe down below, and push thumbs up. And you can also you can also follow me on Twitter, Louise underscore corner. Again, thank you so much for watching. Peace out.